Welcome to setting up a signature in Outlook 2010. You're going to need Outlook 2010 and any details that you would like to appear in your signature, like phone numbers and email addresses. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is start up Microsoft Outlook 2010 from the Start menu. Once Outlook started, if we go to the top left and click on the File tab, and then go down to Options, and across to Mail, and then down to Create or Modify Signatures for Messages, and click the Signatures button. Now we want to create a new signature, and in the type of name for this signature, just put in something that's memorable for yourself. And then click OK. Once we've done that, we click in the box down the bottom, and we're going to want to put in a few things here. The first thing we'll put in is a, a little farewell. So, kind regards, Egghead Army, just so we don't have to type it every single time we send an email message. Once we've done that, just below, we're going to put in a few details about how they can contact us. So, we're going to put in email, phone, and postal address. So, first things first, we'll change the size of the font down to 8 which is right next to Calibri in body. Once we've changed the font down to 8, we're going to start inserting some funky little icons to represent uh, email, phone and mail. Now we're going to get our funky little icons from something called Wingdings. So go to Calibri, trip on the, uh, click on the drop down box, and go down to Wingdings and select Wingdings. Now for email, I know that the email icon is Shift and the number 8. Now we'll just press spacebar twice to give us a little space and go back up to Wingdings and change it back to Calibri so we can put in our email address. Now we just need to type in our email address which in our case is eggheadarmy at gmail.com and then we'll press enter once. Now we're going to go back up and change back to Wingdings again and this time we're going to put our phone number in and the little icon for phone number well, I believe, is shift and the number 9, and space twice, go back up to Wingdings and reselect Calibri, and let's put our phone number in, and we'll put in the full country code and phone number at this stage. Once we've done that, let's press enter again to go to the next line. And the final thing we're going to put in is our postal address. So let's go back up and select Wingdings again, and I think the icon for that is shift and the plus sign. Now shift and the plus sign will give us a little icon, looks like a, an envelope with a, a, a postage stamp. So let's press space twice again. Go back up to Wingdings and reselect Calibri. And then let's put in our postal address. Now once we've put in our postal address, what we want to do is to make it stand out a little bit more. So let's select everything below Egghead Army by left clicking and dragging our my mouse from one side to the other. And then we'll go up to where it says automatic. And then we'll change the font color to something a bit different. Now I think we'll go with a, a greeny type color. That might be a, a little bit light, so let's select a darker color. That's better. Once we've done that, what we want to do is to say what type of messages we want to append our signature to. So at the moment, we'll send new messages and replies and forwards using the same signature. And let's click Save, and then OK. And OK again. And let's go New Mail to have a look. There's our new signature down the bottom. Now there are some things we can do to make it a little bit fancier. Let's close our mail, go back up to File, and then Options. back across to mail and then down to signatures and let's insert a picture at the bottom of our signature so if we select just after the last of the text and press enter and then click on the insert picture icon on the right hand side now here's a picture I created earlier so double click on that and there's our picture down the bottom let's click on OK and then OK again and new mail 
and there's our new signature with our pretty picture. Now this is great but there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Sometimes email servers don't like embedded pictures in emails and what they'll do is they'll actually reject your entire message. There's nothing you can do about it apart from deleting your picture and sending your message again. The second thing is, is that if your recipient's email client is set to only receive text, you won't see the picture. Sometimes the picture will be displayed as an attachment and you probably won't see the little icons that we created with wingdings either. Most people, however, use HTML email and should see it properly.